ITV News anchor Nina, 45, lives in rural Nottinghamshire with her husband, Stuart Thomas, head of the BBC for the Midlands, their son Will, 13, and daughters Clara, 11, and 8-year-old Nate. Not a lot of people know this but I'm very good at cake decorating. Well, not very good but good enough to create trains, pirates, the Star Wars Millennium Falcon and lots and lots of fondants. The children put a lot of planning into what they'd like on their birthday cake, normally putting their order in about eight months in advance. My best friend is my husband. He's my go-to person, the one I share the many highs, the travails, the parenting and the problems of life with. My nickname is. At school I used to be called Fatima Whitbread because of my curly perm, plus she very much had the muscles and I had the lardy bits. I didn't do any discus throwing. I was pretty useless at sport but I think our frames and hairstyles were similar. The bravest thing I've ever done is, making a split decision to be silent, calm and not panic when a masked mugger robbed me at knife point. It was 15 years ago on the South Bank, about 6.30am, summer and light. I was running to the gym before going to work. He had the knife at my throat and as he cut the rucksack off my back, going through my mind was, gosh, is this it? Is this the end for me? He walked away and then, possibly even more chilling, stopped and called out to see if I had anything else on me. It was horrific. He was never caught but a police were brilliant. For a good six months after I was very wary. Even now, I would never run at night and I'm really cautious. My favorite TV show is. This is a tough one. The West Wing, Chernobyl, Game of Thrones, Six Feet Under, Succession with the peerless Brian Cox, absolute perfection in terms of television drama. And Better Call Saul, a quiet contender for most amazing drama because it didn't get the attention Breaking Bad had. The story arcs are incredible. My perfect evening is, with my family, sitting outside in glorious weather, having a long dinner at a favorite restaurant with an incredible view of the port in Puerto Solier, Mallorca, and then back to the hotel where we drink into the wee hours with friends that we meet there. I'd like to say sorry to any colleague or friend at work I've annoyed due to my pedantry, which I can imagine is quite intolerable at times. My first kiss was, I remember it fondly, with a boy called Robert Pickering. We were both 11 and it was classic back of the youth club one Friday night and was just brilliant. My biggest regret is, I have absolutely no regrets. It's a waste of brain space.